The Democratic Republic of Congo's foreign ministry has started an investigation to identify and punish the perpetrators of an attack on foreign embassies and staff of the UN peacekeeping mission in the capital, Kinshasa. On Saturday, protesters demonstrated against the ongoing conflict between the M23 rebels and government forces in the east of the DRC. SABC's Chris Ochamringa has more. The DRC foreign minister held a high-level meeting with the head of the UN peacekeeping mission and foreign envoys from the US and UK after the protests on Saturday. Minister Christophe Lutendula expressed the government's regrets for the acts of violence and promised to launch investigations and punish those responsible. Demonstrators blocked roads and burnt tires near the foreign embassies in Kinshasa on Saturday to express their frustrations over the escalating violence in eastern DRC. They burned several UN vehicles as well. Some of the protesters accused the US, UK and France of siding with the Rwanda, which the DRC government has blamed for backing the M23 rebels. Rwanda has repeatedly denied the accusation. But a panel of UN experts conducted an investigation last year and confirmed that Rwandan troops were supporting the rebels. The M23 rebels have captured swathes of territory in eastern DRC since they started fighting the Congolese army in 2021. They accused the DRC government of marginalizing their community of Tutsis and failing to honor a peace deal signed in 2013. North Kivu province has seen increased violence over the last week. According to an internal security report, 15 Congolese soldiers and two members of a foreign private company were killed in a battle in the village of Malehe over the weekend. One soldier from the Southern African Development Community was also wounded. Aid agencies say the clashes have forced more than 150,000 people to flee their homes since last month, worsening the humanitarian crisis in the country. Chris Sochamringa, SABC News. Kinshasa.